I have a mod here by Dark Terra, the 12th tier banana farm. Now, normally on any given tower, you have five tiers to work with, but we have an extra six, making the 12th tier banana farm. And if I had to guess, it's going to make us an insane amount of money. So it's only natural that I want to take this as far as it can and see if I can break the game and make an infinite amount of money. And with 12 tiers on a banana farm, I don't see how that wouldn't be possible because even with the regular fifth tier banana central, you can make a bunch of money. Now, what I'm guessing is that we're going to have to go somewhat late game. So I think Eliza is going to be the best hero for this because she allows us to just pretty much one shot bads on her own, which is insane. Because normally I'd go with Ben or even Geraldo with that NFT Quincy to make a lot of money, but I don't think we're going to need it because we have a money making 12 tier banana farm. But if you didn't see these prices, they're pretty crazy. We're talking 355,000 for the sixth tier and it just goes up from there to complete utter nonsense. $32 million. Oh, but wait, there's more. $100 million for the null. So what that's telling me is that I wanted to just get one farm and just upgrade it, but no, we're going to have... So this is going to be our main farm, the 12th tier banana farm. But we're obviously going to have to bring a lot of his banana farm friends along because to make that first crazy money, we need more farms. Because you wouldn't normally just put down one banana farm and go all the way up to the fifth tier without farming to get there. Otherwise, it'll take you all day and probably half your life. So here's my setup. It's a little odd, but I'm going to be putting a bottom fifth tier here to collect everything for me. I know I could just use powers, but I, I don't know why I don't. I just always like to use the bottom path farm because it's like a natural thing in the game. Although I'm sitting here modding it to all craziness with a 12 tier banana farm, but that doesn't matter. And then instead of like buying and selling farms, do that kind of stuff. I'm just going to go up the regular old fashioned way and get a bunch of these ones to get us to that point that we need to be. But so far it's only round 44 and I'd say we have a pretty good amount of money. I like playing on beginner mode just for that reason. Normally I play everything on like harder and poppable to give myself that challenge. But our challenge here is to get infinite amount of money to where it literally breaks the game and negative it's negative negative it's it out. Is that even a word? I don't think I'm saying that correctly, but you get what I'm trying to go at. I never tend to go late game in a beginner mode and oh my gosh, I should more. Look at this. This is just a fifth, a fourth tier sub, a third tier alchemist, and then an Eliza, and we're making it this far into it. I mean, like we're getting a little struggle, so maybe I can add that one there, but we already have our banana central, which leads to our next one, Funky Farm, which immediately reminds me of Funky Kong, and I loved unlocking Funky Kong on Mario Kart Wii and totally destroying all of my friends because I'm the best at Mario Kart. Prove me wrong, right? So $302,260 for Funky Kong. Now I have to ask you guys a question. What is your favorite farm cross path? Mine 1000% is the marketplace. It is the lazy man's farm. No, it doesn't make the most as the rest of them, but I don't have to do anything. I unlock it and I'm done. This is my least favorite for sure. The middle path because I always forget to collect and I waste a bunch of money. And this again, always forget to collect. And I get, you know, a good chunk of comments of people telling me like, dude, I really don't like how you farm because you don't pick up the bananas. And I mean, that happens, you know? And so that's why I like this farm right here because it's just so beautiful. It may not make the most. So what is your favorite farm? If I had to guess, I, I want to say like 99% of you are going to say like the top path, but which in fact you'd be wrong because it is the bottom path, but I respect your opinion. This has taken more time than I thought, but less time than I thought. Like if we're in hard mode or in poppable, this would be like probably around 95 by now. We probably should get a fifth tier, but this is kind of cool. One tower I was thinking about getting to help us out is a spirit because he'll have an ability plus he can make money. Is that a good spot for him or no? No, because we want the other path. Yeah, yeah. So we'll put it here and go like all the way up. And then we should probably do like one of these, right? Just so we can get that extra money. Yeah, because don't you make more money around that? Again, guys, this is not like the farming tutorial. I'm terrible at farming. I buy all my stuff at the grocery store and I call it a day. But I think for this, it doesn't really matter because once you get Funky Kong, you're just going to destroy the world. So currently, just so we have a basis here, we have $143,096. I want to see what we make in one round because that is one thing I do not do is pay attention to this kind of stuff. So we have $152,096. Which for those of you math illiterate like myself, the trusty dusty calculator says $9,000. So what do we get once we buy Funky Kong at the end of the round? 9,000, I'd guess like, well, like 20? Something crazy, right? 249,000, that's nearly $100,000. That can't be right. Oh my gosh, we have to do one more test on this. The proof is in the pudding, that's $97,400. So I'm super curious what the big banana is going to be. It's going to have to be like, okay, if we went from 9,000 to 90,000, is it going to be 900,000? Is it just going exponentially like that? Or is it going to be like 200,000? But either way, if we're only at the sixth tier, I think this is going to get out of hand because we're doubling it. 
But here we go with the big banana. I'm gonna turn off auto start here and after this next round, we'll test it. So with the big banana, we're at 29,851. This is gonna be faster than I thought. That gave us $192,082 for the big banana in one round. That is completely insanity. But this one does say bananas are worth two times more, also improves the buff from Banana Central. Actually though, I wanna check this one out for real. We're gonna do this test one more time on Big Banana, cause I wanna see what it can do on its own actually. Which again guys, we're around 87 and it's just a spirit of the force in this guy. I love beginner mode. So it's actually 153,000 compared to the 192,000 when you give it all those buffs, but we're gonna keep it like this cause I wanna get more of a good feel of this tower on its own. So we're gonna do Banana Monkey Crates. I honestly thought we'd have like more room to breathe and more rounds in between buying these things, but we're making so much money per round that we're just jumping up to the next one. And as I say that we need $4.8 million to get to diamond bananas. So that went from 441 to 726. So that's like $280,000. But we're gonna have our 4,802,000 any second here. I got a little sub over here cause I think we do need to actually start upgrading. But at this point, like wouldn't it just be simpler just to do this? Like I'm still trying to save money cause I want to get to the next one as fast as possible. But at the same time, like I feel like this will carry us for a while. So we just graced over round 100 very easily. Of course we have Eliza and we have a dark guy here. That, but I forgot how good her ability is. I haven't been using it cause I totally forget that she is good for like one thing in this game. And that is to destroy bads. And I'm loving it right now, but we do have enough for this. So I should probably turn off auto start and give it a go. So diamond bananas. So we have 22953, oh my gosh, it already went that much higher. That is complete insanity. I still have to use a calculator because I can't do that kind of math in my head. Oh my goodness. $1.2 million in one round. Oh my goodness. That means that we're gonna be getting to the next one in like no time. I actually don't really know though. It says loading. At first I thought this was broken, but then I look at this and it's going to be $15 million. Okay, thank you, thank you. Sticker price on that one kind of got me. It's like when you're looking at a new vehicle and you're like, oh, that can't be more than like five grand. $27,000 and it has roll down windows. That's what I feel like right now. But one thing we should do because we're probably gonna have to go kind of late game here is we should get this guy going to get his like, his pops in there, you know? Bananas of the Aether. What's Aether? I thought it was Aether. But we're gonna click it here and we have 1.243 million. And it's just, a, it's a whited out banana farm. Okay, but that's tier 10. We're at tier 10. How much are we gonna make in one round? Oh my gosh, 4 million off the first crate. 4 million off the second crate. Another 4 million. Oh my goodness. So you make your money back, no problem. Cause we went from 1.2 to 20 million. So what's that? Like 18 million, 800,000. Oh my goodness. Cause we're already at the banana of a void, which actually costs $32 million. Oh my good golly gosh. All right, so we're gonna be at 12 million now. And what does one round get us of this one? Did I just go from 12 million to 220 million? So it's like 200 and, what was that, 209 million? That's just complete insanity. And I already have the null. Should I do it? Should I do it? Yeah, well, of course we should do it. But I'm gonna spend, can I even spend $136 million? I don't even think I can. And why would I want to, do you ask? Because that math is just getting out of hand typing all these big numbers in. So I feel like we should just do this. I'll buy like an expensive doom ship. Dude, that'll take all day. I was gonna just like keep buying doom ships until I lost all of my money, but I could literally be here till the end of next year doing that. So I guess I'll just have to write this down. <laughs> we'll just do it broad, 133 mil. Oh my goodness, this is insane. Okay, what's one more round gonna do? Round 119. Okay, come on, now we're at 1 billion. 1 billion 800,000 per round. So how long is it gonna actually take us to get to the end of the world? Like we're literally on flat earth and we're going to the edge of it and we're jumping off is what we're doing. Cause this is complete insanity. So I'm just gonna turn auto start on and just let this thing ride. I hope this is enough. Oh, there it is already. Round 120, we have negative 2 billion negative 2 billion and that's what this game does when things break if you've never seen it before that's what happened when i accidentally broke the entire game and got that much monkey money as you can see here i broke it but i guess at this point we buy everything maxed out i can't buy the slider my money doesn't work i can't buy what the heck i it's actually broken like all i could do is a normal dart monkey does that work for all of them too no way right 
Dude, you gotta be kidding me. So of course the most logical thing to do is restart it, lazily buy all of the max paragons before we max out our money. And by lazy max paragons, I mean just putting all three of them down and then maxing out the slider. I feel like that's the best way to do it because currently we are on the banana of the aether, which is 18.8 million per round, which is more than enough than we'll ever, ever need. I think we could buy all of them right off the go right now, which is just pure insanity. Yeah, it looks, it looks that way. It looks like I don't even have to worry about anything my entire life. And I can just put this one here, put them on strong. But they don't even get that high up. I thought they'd at least be like 70 or close to it, right? No? And that's pretty crazy. So the best is obviously going to be the Dart Monkey 59 because you have four of them. But these are all pretty good. And I think, oh, that one's way higher because he's. I've been using him, waiting up for this. That is crazy. And the last but not least would be our Magus Perfectus. And what is he going to be? 58. Oh, my goodness. Oh, but wait, there's one more we have to buy before we can just jump right into this. We need a max buff VTSG. Otherwise, it's not legit because you got to spend all the money you can. We still have $104 million, though. I love when that thing works, but I always get that anticip anticipation anxiety that it's not going to work because I'm really bad at making it. <laughs> I don't know why. That if I hide it all behind her, it will look ugly. And now we got this max buff dude over here. I'm loving this. I think this is awesome. And now we max out our money. Okay. And then what? In like one round, we'll have unlimited or two rounds, three rounds, four rounds. Oh, is this still one round, isn't it? Oh my gosh, there it is. And now we're done. Okay, so now what we need to do is just speed this up a little bit. See how far we can make it. Just go for it. Let's do times 50 speed. Let's just really break this game because our money's stuck. We can't make another dollar. We can't even spend another dollar. And I feel like if I have this here, like I'm unlimitedly making infinite money, right? So even if I try to spend it, it would, I think it would take like 10 years. Like no joke, like real life, 10 years. Oh, but wait, I could break this further. We could just go like this and then go to round 200 and see what happens. But you got to go one before because if not. Okay, let's see what happens here. That, that was super easy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's let's jump it up a little bit. Let's go to round uh, 299. So it's a fortified bad. There's two fortified bads. They're making it pretty far. I mean, I'm, I'm actually kind of bummed at how far they're making it given the fact that I have like super buffed up towers here. Okay, okay, next one. Let's do round 399. We should be able to do this one. Now, I'm sure if I used like some actual strategy here and slowed some stuff down and used the abilities properly, like with the wizard and stuff, we could go a lot farther, obviously, because we could even use our pull down guy, which I totally forgot we had, but I can't even see it now because everything's going crazy. Oh, there it is. But the goal of this was to break the game with money and we did it very easily. Actually, we just had to farm a little bit and I'm really bad at farming and we did it just fine. And if you haven't yet, check out this video where we beat every single beginner map on Chimps in one go. Use it as a guide if you need some help with some of these maps. Or just hang out and chill because it's a two-hour video jam-packed with a bunch of different strategies.